Hello, everyone. We would like to welcome you to the Hanyang University Winner School of the Tool. We are Winger supporters that will be guiding you through this tool. Starting now, we will be showing you the various forms of Sol in its past and its present. So, are you ready? We will start the tool now. The first era you guys will be visiting will be the era of Joseon Dynasty. This is Gyeonggukgung Palace, which was the representative palace of Hanyang in the past. Hanyang is also known as the capital of Joseon. Gyeonggukgung is also a place where you can recognize the beauty and the royal culture of Korea. The place that you're seeing right now is called Gungjeongjeon, which is a historical landmark in Korea where they hold important events. Gungjeongjeon also has a deep meaning embedded inside the building, stating that if you're diligent and hardworking, all the work in the world that you'll be doing will be well controlled. This building is very important inside Gyeongbokgung because it holds a lot of important occasions such as the king's enthronement, hospitality for foreign visitors, and they also hold important tests that will pick the people who are qualified to work for the country. Gyeongeru, a building with a beautiful atmosphere. What's unique about this building is that it is built in the middle of a pond. This building was used to welcome foreign visitors and also held parties, banquets, and many more for the king and his officials. Despite having many buildings being vanished inside Gyeongbokgung for many reasons, Gyeongeru has still maintained its original shape since then. At Gyeongbokgung, there will be a gatekeeper's alternation ceremony at a specific time. This ceremony is quite similar to the guard man's alternation ceremony in England Buckingham Palace. In this ceremony, we can see the magnificent shifts and turns of the gatekeepers around the palace to protect the royal household. Inside Gyeongbokgung, we can see the places where the king and his officials worked, the places where the royal family lived, and also the places where they spent their leisure. We strongly recommend you guys to visit Gyeongbokgung so that you'll be able to acknowledge the royal households of the Joseon dynasty. Next, shall we move on to Toksugung? Toksugung is a place where you not only see Korean traditional buildings, but also different styles of other establishments. This place has a charm of having a lot of various characteristics of different countries being mixed in. However, because of this chaotic history that we have, it can also be same as a pain. Even if we are not able to see the original form of Doksugung, we will still be able to imagine its initial sculpture by looking at its current form like solving puzzle pieces. The place that you are looking at right now is Sokjojeon. Sokjojeon is the last building that was built in the Joseon era. If you compare Sokjojeon to the other palaces inside Doksugung, you will find its architecture structure a bit old and different compared to the others. These buildings display a lot of chaotic and difficult historical period of Korea. However, these buildings are also special artifacts that show the rapid changes that has happened inside Korea. If you're visiting Korea, trying Korean food is a must. Kwangmun Hanok Jip is a restaurant where they have designed the interior in a traditional Hanok style. Moreover, you will be able to taste from a variety of Korean food such as kimchi jjigae, bulgogi, Korean pancakes, and also a type of Korean traditional alcohol. Basically, you'll be able to experience a traditional Korean style of cuisine to a Korean fusion where you'll be able to taste the variety. In a place with a traditional Korean vibe, let us have our meal here and proceed to the next part of our tour. Let's move on to the 80s of Korea. This place is called Urjiru where you'll be able to find the past and the present form of Seoul. 
In Uichiro, you will see a great deal of stores that has been there for a long time, and also a lot of marks and stains from many big companies that was established in the nineties. Lately, many young generation visit Uichiro to experience the vintage vibe. Uchidaban is a coffee place that was made in 1985 and still operating till now with the same vintage interior from them. You can see lots of props and interior design that is from the 80s. Their main drink is sangwa cha with an egg yolk on top, which is a Korean herb tea that many locals here enjoy. There are also other delicacies that you can choose from. In this coffee shop, we can imagine a lot of people with their colleges go there and share stories in their lunch breaks. Uchiro Manson Hope, a Korean beer bar, has a lot of customers when it turns nighttime. It will be overflowing with customers to the point that they will need to set up tables out in the streets. What is a Korean dish that you would like to try? I bet some of you said chime, which is a combination of chicken and beer. Chime is an inseparable couple, just like Romeo and Juliet. If you like to experience the eighties of Korea. Uchiro is definitely the place for you to visit. The last era of destination where we'll be going will be modern Seoul. Starting now, you'll be seeing a whole new appearance of Seoul. We think that it will also be a great idea for you guys to pay attention and try to compare the city of Seoul to your home country. This will also be a chance for you to see what a normal Korean college life will be. The place that you're seeing right now is Dongdaemun Design Plaza, in short, DDP. The design of this building is quite similar to a spaceship, which makes the outside of the building look very contemporary. And this actually catches a lot of people's attention. DDP is one of the hottest places in Seoul, from holding a variety of art and design exhibitions to hosting yearly Seoul Fashion Weeks. If you'll be visiting this place, you'll be able to experience the modern architecture of Korea. Additionally, we also recommend you guys take pictures with this building as your background. In Seoul, there are a lot of cafes and cocktail bars with various amusing themes around the corner. What is so unique about this bar is that the entrance is like a secret doorway. Nowadays, there are a lot of college students who are looking for unique themed cafes and cocktail bars. In these places, students like us tend to take pictures and share wonderful memories with their fellow friends. We hope everyone here will be able to visit Korea and wrap up their visit by visiting places like these before returning to your home countries. Now, after going through the whole tour with us, how was it? We hope that everyone in this tour will be able to experience the variety of Seoul and Korea as a whole. After this pandemic hardship that we're currently going through, we hope everyone here will be able to visit Korea and experience its unique and dynamic form. This was the Hanyang University Winter School Avatar Tour titled From Hanyang to Seoul, the Past and the Present, and we would like to thank you all for joining us in this tour.